U.S. News & World Report has compiled a list of the best diets for 2018. Topping that list, the Mediterranean and the DASH diet, which stands for Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension. Coming in third, the Flexitarian diet, which gives you the flexibility to eat meat or fish on occasion. In fourth, Weight Watchers, the Mind Diet, TLC Diet, and Volumetrics tied for fifth, and the Dukin and Keto Diets tied for last hmm. place. Try the Yuki Diet. Eat light, eat right, and keep it tight. <laughs> Always remember that. It just takes one. On the Health Watch tonight, new research on how easy it is to get addicted to smoking cigarettes. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl is here with more on this study. This That's is interesting. That's right. Yeah, it really is. It just takes one. You mm. know, we know that nicotine is very addictive, but how long does it take to actually get hooked? Doctors say smoking is different for different people, and some are more prone to addiction. But this new research says it can happen very quickly. 35-year-old Anna Creek tried her first cigarette when she was just a teen. Now she's a regular smoker. It's just a break uh, to gather my thoughts, uh, check my, my, my phone. Uh, sometimes it's just a social thing, really. A new British study found more than 60% of people who take that first puff will go on to become daily smokers. Researchers looked through surveys of more than 215,000 people from teenagers on up and found experimentation often leads to habitual smoking. It doesn't mean that these people are hooked for life, but they will progress to daily smoking for at least a period of time. Despite declining smoking rates in the United States, 36 and a half million adults are still regular cigarette smokers. The new study published in the journal Nicotine and Tobacco Research also looked at e-cigarettes. Almost no young people who try e-cigarettes become daily vapors. They don't progress to smoking. Anna says she plans to quit. It's a bad habit. It's a personal choice and it's also very expensive. She's not alone. Stopping smoking continues to be one of the top New Year's resolutions. Now, the CDC says more than 16 million Americans are currently living with a disease caused by smoking. That includes things like cancer, heart disease, strokes, and diabetes. Very serious. And, you know, the sad part is a lot of people start young. They think it's cool. Right. Yeah. And then you it get addicted. On. How right. about it? Right, right. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks Steph. Steph.